So I've been using DaVinci Resolve since 2019. And within that time, I can confidently say that DaVinci Resolve is the best video editor that I've ever used. And the fact that Blackmagic provides a free version that gives you most of the features of the full paid version, it is really insane. And I would say for most people out there, the free version is all they would need because DaVinci Resolve provides you so many pro level features and so you're constantly giving you updates that improves the overall experience. However, there are reasons why you might wanna go over to the paid studio version and that's what I'm gonna be doing today. And whenever you consider the current price of $295, that is really an incredible deal, especially when you compare it to Adobe Premiere with a monthly subscription where you're gonna be paying around $600 or more per year and that price could go up over time. And even against Adobe Final Cut Pro, which matches it in price, it's only really available for the Apple ecosystem, whereas DaVinci Resolve is available on all major platforms. All right, so now let's go ahead and head over to the computer and make the upgrade to DaVinci Resolve Studio. Okay, so before we actually make the upgrade, I do wanna go over a few things. So for anybody who is using DaVinci Resolve, this is nothing new, but on the free version, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, DaVinci Resolve gives you so many pro level features that honestly, for most of us, you won't really need to upgrade. However, as you're using this more and more, you realize that there's some things that simply are not available in the free version. And you see that right away when it says DaVinci Resolve Studio. So most of the effects and things that they provide, you can use, but DaVinci Resolve will tell you if there are features that are unavailable with the free version. And you see this as you go through each one of these pages. There's so many different features out here, but once you get to a point where you can't use the feature, like this one right here, it'll tell you DaVinci Resolve Studio. And then in terms of upgrading, there isn't an upgrade per se from the free version. So if you go here to DaVinci Resolve and you check for updates or you go to about, you can't just upgrade from the free version, okay? So what you have to do is you actually have to go to DaVinci Resolve's website Go to the buy now, and this is where you're gonna make your purchase. And they do have a refund policy, at least right now for their software, they have a refund of 14 days. And so you do have time to refund this, but I've not yet have to do that, so I don't know how that process works. But it is an overall pretty seamless process in terms of purchasing the actual paid studio version. And also when you're using the free version, you'll see where the limitations are. And the one thing that's really important, whether you're gonna be going to the studio version or you're just making an upgrade, I always recommend that you export your database first. And this is especially important for DaVinci Resolve Studio because we are gonna be uninstalling the DaVinci Resolve free version before installing DaVinci Resolve Studio. So if you are not aware on how to do that, if you go here to your home and then under projects, there's this little toggle. Now you could see your databases. So if you go here to the details, you could make a backup of your database. And so I always recommend that you do this even if you're just upgrading versions of DaVinci Resolve. And so I'm gonna go ahead and back up. I already have some previous backups and I'm gonna go ahead and just name this. And this is pretty much essential, <laughs> especially if you have a lot of projects, you don't wanna lose all of those things. And DaVinci Resolve makes it really easy for you to back it up. And then if you did want to restore, if you go here to your uh, project libraries, it's been successfully backed up. If you go here, there's an option to restore, and then you could choose the backup of your database. And so that is the first thing, always back up your database. Okay, and so I purchased DaVinci Resolve Studio, as you can see here, here is the zip file, and I've already extracted in its folder here. But before I install it, I'm going to uninstall the free version of DaVinci Resolve. And once you do make your purchase, they do provide you a key right away. So once I uninstall DaVinci Resolve free version and then install the studio version, all I should have to do is put in the key and I should be good to go. Okay, and so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and head over to my apps, go to Blackmagic, and I'm going to uninstall the DaVinci Resolve free version. And as stated before, before you do this, make sure you make a backup of your database as I just showed you a little bit earlier, but I've already done that. So I'm gonna go ahead and uninstall it. 
Okay, so DaVinci Resolve free version has been uninstalled. Now I'm gonna go ahead and install the studio version. And hopefully everything <laughs> works. And then once we get studio installed, all I should be able to do is just bring up DaVinci Resolve Studio, put in my key and hopefully everything works from there. Okay, so DaVinci Resolve Studio has been finished. Installation complete. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. Typically I restart my machine, but let me see if it allows me to open it. So it says studio and it should ask me for my license key, I'm assuming. There it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in my activation key and then bring up DaVinci Resolve Studio. Okay, so my activation was approved and now DaVinci Resolve Studio 18 is starting up. And one thing that is important with your license is that it covers two different machines. So that is a good thing. And what do you know? It had all my project settings. <laughs> so that's the good thing. Whenever you uninstall DaVinci Resolve, the free version, it still has all the other components. So let me go ahead and bring up one of my existing projects to make sure that things load up. And you might want to definitely do this on your test. But once again, if you did have any problems or issues, if you did make your backup, you can restore from there. And since we were on DaVinci Resolve 18 before, uh, things should work. So right now, let me see if I could see everything. Yep, awesome. So let me see if this comes up. Yeah, this is gonna take me a little bit of time to go through everything. But if I go here to about DaVinci Resolve, DaVinci Resolve Studio 18. And so that is all you have to do to update to DaVinci Resolve Studio 18 or basically purchase DaVinci Resolve Studio, uninstall your free version and then reinstall DaVinci Resolve. So if you actually had any thoughts on this, be sure to leave in the comments area below and later on I will be making more videos on DaVinci Resolve Studio because there's probably a lot that I'm gonna have to go over and learn. So if you did wanna see more of my DaVinci Resolve Studios, tips, thoughts and so forth, I do have an entire playlist I'll leave in the description area below or up here. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy, the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below.